Good evening, boys and girls, and welcome to another edition of Daddy and Kids Read. Tonight we read Pinkalicious Thanksgiving Helper. Can you tell it's the week of Thanksgiving? All right, girls, who's going to turn my pages? Ava. I mean, this is by Eddie. Victoria. What's her last name? Can. Victoria Can. It was Thanksgiving Day. I could hear Mommy baking in the kitchen and could smell the turkey cooking in the oven. Outside, Daddy was raking big piles of leaves. Let's go. That's what I said to my little letter, Peter. Whee! We yelled as we jumped into the leaves. Daddy gave me and Peter rakes. Why don't you help me? He asked. We rake the leaves into more piles. Happy Thanksgiving, I shouted as I leaped into the leaves again. Peter did a cannonball yelling, gobble, gobble, gobble. I think that's enough help from you two, Daddy said. Maybe you can go inside and help your mom. Let's pretend it's first Thanksgiving, I said, putting a pink feather in my hair and a big hat on Peter's head. You can be Peter Pilgrim Pete, and I will be Princess Pink Feather. This is my wild unicorn, Golden Tell. Okay, Peter said. Now what? Follow me, I said. Who wants to comment on this right here? Beautiful and needs to be pink. Mommy had decorated the living room and looked turkey-tastic. Well, almost. The painting hung crookedly on the wall. It was too high for us to re to reach, so I balanced on Golden Tail. Crunch. Mommy hurried in from the kitchen. Are you all right? You're not supposed to climb the furniture, Pinkalicious, she said. I felt terrible. I'm sorry, Mommy. We were just trying to help. Never mind. I'm sure Daddy can fix it, she said. I need to run to the store. Pinkalicious, Peter, please remind Daddy to check on the turkey while I'm out. Maybe there's something we can help Mommy with in the kitchen, I said to Peter. Follow me. I spotted a bag of marshmallows and sweet potatoes ready for mashing. Look, Pilgrim Pete, Mommy is going to make her marshmallow-licious sweet potato casserole. Let's help her. Girls, would you like to help me read? Eh? Got all these stickers in the middle. We looked around for the potato masher, but couldn't find it. I know, Peter said. He ran out of the kitchen and came back with badminton rackets. Who knew helping could be so much fun, I said, as we mashed the potatoes. Isn't that funny? Clang. Daddy rushed inside to the kitchen. Careful, he said. He pent bent down and picked up the turkey-shaped salt and pepper shakers. I think I can fix these, I slumped. We are the worst Thanksgiving helpers in the history of Thanksgiving. No, you're not. Why don't you set the table while I work on these? Pilgrim Pete, let's set the table so it looks like the first Thanksgiving, I said. Do you think they had forks and knives? I can use my arrowhead for a knife, Peter said. I know they didn't have light bulbs back then, I said. We need to find some candles. Didn't Native Americans rub rocks together to light a fire? I think so, and they probably used leaves for napkins. I bet they used seashells for cups. We need corn for the table, too. Pete, do you smell that? We looked at each other, the turkey. Uh-oh, what happened? Daddy, don't let the turkey burn, I yelled. Daddy opened the oven and took out the golden brown turkey. It was cooked perfectly. Mommy walked in. Mmm, the turkey smells good, she said. You can thank Princess Pink Feather and Pilgrim Pete for that, Daddy said. They reminded me just in time. Who also helped set the table, I said. Come look. Who put that sticker over there? I did. <laughs> Like we said it so it looked like the first Thanksgiving, Peter said proudly. Mommy hugged us. Can I have a feather for my my hair too, Princess Pink Feather? She asked. My first, 
fire starting techniques is a little rusty. Mind if I use matches for the candles instead of these rocks? Asked Daddy as he put on his big hat. Like her parents and what's her name? Golden Tail. They look so happy. We sat down to eat. Peter tried to pierce his peas with the arrowhead. I'm thankful for forks, he said. Daddy laughed. <laughs> I'm thankful for matches. I'm thankful we don't have to cook a turkey with an open fire, Mommy said. I'm thankful for cups. These seashells don't hold much apple cider, I said. Peter bit into Mommy's decorative corn. Black. I'm thankful for rolls. I'm going to miss our Thanksgiving helpers. Do you think Princess Pink Feather and Pilgrim Pete can stick around for a while, Mommy said, asked. I giggled. We'll see what we can do. But first, please pass the marshmallow sweet potatoes. Is that the end? Girls, what would you think of that book? Good. All right. Anything you want to say? Happy Thanksgiving to everybody. A. L. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Share in the comments where you're spending Thanksgiving this year. All right. Mm -hmm. Good night and bye-bye.